This is planet Earth. The surface of Earth may look like it's all in one piece, but it's not. It's actually made up of several pieces called plates. Let me explain. Okay, so if you cut the Earth in half, this is what it would look like. The Earth is made up of four main layers, like a big round cake. The inner layer is called the inner core, which is a hard ball of hot metals. Around the inner core, there's the outer core, which is made up of very hot liquid metals. Then there's the mantle, which is made up of really hot melted rock, called magma. Sometimes, magma will come to the surface as lava in volcanoes. The fourth layer is called the crust. Like the crust of a piece of toast, the crust of the earth is the hardest and outermost layer of the earth. We live on the crust. The crust is not a perfect ball. It is broken up into many pieces called plates. These plates fit together like puzzle pieces around the earth. Now if you look at the map, you can see where the plate boundaries are. These plates are called tectonic plates. And these tectonic plates can move. This is the world today. And this is what scientists think the world looked like 300 million years ago. This landmass is called Pangaea, and over time, the plates moved slowly apart. They moved at about the speed that your fingernails grow, so it took a very long time for them to get to their present position. Remember the mantle from earlier? Well, the mantle is the layer of Earth right below the crust, and it is made of hot melted rock. This melted rock moves around the mantle, and since it's right below the crust, when the mantle moves, the tectonic plates of the crust move as well. The plates move in three ways. They converge, that means come together. When this happens, one plate subducts or goes under another plate and it melts back into the mantle. This happens very slowly. Again, about as slow as your fingernails grow. And it happens mostly in oceans, so you don't have to worry about any land getting subducted anytime soon. When two continental or land plates come together, they form mountains. This is how the Himalayan mountain range was formed in India, the tallest mountain in the world. It was formed when two plates crashed together and crumpled up, sort of like how a car crumples when it hits something big. The second way that plates interact is at divergent boundaries. This is where plates diverge or move apart. And this is also how oceans form. As Pangaea began to break up and the Americas began to move farther away from Africa, the Atlantic Ocean formed in between the continents as the plates diverged. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you can see the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is where the North American and Eurasian plates meet, and this is where they are being moved apart. Here, new ocean crust is formed which pushes the Americas and Europe about one inch farther apart every year. The third way that plates can interact is at transform faults. A transform boundary is when two plates are not moving together converging, and they're not moving apart or diverging. Instead, these plates simply slide next to each other. This is happening in California right now, along the San Andreas fault line. This is why there are so many earthquakes in California. When the two plates rub together, they shake the ground and make earthquakes. Okay, so let's review. The earth is made up of layers, and the top layer is the crust. The crust is broken down into tectonic plates, which very slowly move around the earth because of movement in the mantle, which is the hot layer of melted rock under the crust. The plates move together at convergent boundaries, they move apart at divergent boundaries, and they slide past each other at transform boundaries. The movement of the plates is extremely slow, and there is very little change every year. But over millions and billions of years, you can see big changes in the way the Earth looks. We know all of this because of great scientists who dedicated their lives to researching and trying to learn more about this great planet we call home.